Hello scientist, I will show you how to draw HIV in Inkscape. First I will draw a circle, I will make a copy of this, scale it down. Then I will select both of them. Okay, I will use the alignment tool to align them. I will give the blue color to the bigger circle. For now, I will fill in a darker blue color here so you can see it, the structure better. I will change the outline to a dark gray. Okay, I will fill in a radial gradient into uh, the smaller circle. I'll put white at the center and then blue on the outskirt. Let's grab our rectangle tool and draw a rectangle like this. I'll make the outline thinner and then put it to the back. And we need a linear gradient in this rectangle. Let me come to the fill tab and then click on linear gradient. Click on the gradient icon and click at the center of the, of the gradient handle. And you can add one more gradient stop. And here we need to fill in the white and then we need this blue on two sides. Grab the ellipse tool and draw an, an ellipse like this. Okay, and then we need a radial gradient in this uh, ellipse and you can reuse the gradient here. Um, for Inkscape, you can come to, you can reuse gradient by just looking at the tabs. That's good. And I will align these two with the alignment tool. Okay, now I need to spin this envelope protein. So you can go to the transform tab and you see you can set how many degrees you want to rotate it. And we need to rotate this object along the center of our circle. We need to set the rotation center over here. And to find the rotation center, click on the object and you see we get this anchor point. And click and drag it all the way down here. We need 12 copies, so I'll set it as 30 degrees. And when you apply, you'll see that your object rotates. Uh, but we want to rotate it while making copies. So uh, what you will need to do is to have your object, have your object selected and then press Control D, then apply the rotation. Then you can copy it and then rotate. Remember to press Ctrl D every time you make a new copy. And then there you go. Okay, uh, I will select all of them. And then Ctrl G to group them. Then I will select the all the object and align them to the center just to make everything organized. And then I will send the envelope protein to the back. So now you get the spikes. Then we need the matrix protein. Just draw a circle like this. And then another bigger circle, remove the fill and move it over here. We need to use a function called the um, patterns along path. And let's come to path and open the path effects. So here, click on the plus sign. Then uh, usually uh, this will be the tab that you see and then just type in pattern. Then you can find the pattern long path effect here. Okay, and now control C to copy this small circle. Oh, and then select the big circle and then come here to link to path in clipboard. It, uh, it looks very strange now. You need to change the, um, the mode in this drop-down menu to repeat it. 
then you get to have these uh, repeating circles along your path. And it is a little bit annoying that uh, there's a gap there. So you can choose repeated stretched, then they will stretch your shape to fill this, uh, in the gap for you. Okay, then I'll move this over here and scale it down until they are fitting into this space that's underneath the membrane. You can just simply apply a color, then it will they will dis distribute it for you to all these shapes in there. But what if you want to put some radial gradient into each of the circle then we need to come here to we need to to break apart this shape so let's select this and then come to path and then break apart and you see now they are all individual circles um i will cut i will cut them and make a new layer and uh, the name matrix protein. And then I'll paste them onto this layer. You know, so I will lock the other layers so they will not interfere with me while I'm dealing with the matrix protein. You can put a radio gradient into the circles and come to the fill tab and then click on gradient, create a new gradient and We'll change the color to purple. Good. And then I can select all these circles and then I can fill in the um, radio gradient all at once. Now we need to draw the capsid and the RNA. Let's uh, first draw a rectangle like this. Move it over here, move it, shorten it a little bit. Click on object to path. So now we have these nodes we can play with. And I will select this node and move it in one, two, three. And then this one, move it in one, two, three. And we also need to fill it in with a color, the purple like this. And now uh, we need to put in the RNA and the RNA, we can just make it very simple. Curve line like this, increase its thickness and a round cap and just put it in there. Give it a um, red color. And there are two copies of the RNA and then I'll make a circle. This will be the reverse transcriptase. One here, let's have an orange uh, orange radio gradient and this we need to make the outline thinner and I'll turn it to dark gray okay that's the HIV